Yo, what's up? Keep it Nero here. In this video, I've actually got a really good story to tell. So, the year is around 1908, right? And I have been studying this book, right? And the, the year is 1908. We have the richest man on the planet, and his name is Andrew Carnegie. And he sits there and he thinks, you know, how he has been able to acquire all this wealth. And he, rea you know, he realized, obviously, that there is a formula. And he realized the formula to success is there, but nobody has ever, ever written this formula, right? So somehow, God knows how, he gets uh, an appre apprentice, Napoleon Hill. And, and he gives him the mission to find out this formula of success, right? He tells him it's going to take you over 20 years, right? And uh, he asks him, are you, are you willing to put in 20 years to, you know, to do this research? And um, he, he's not going to pay him anything. I'm not going to pay you anything. And you will have to find your way. You know, you will have to fund yourself all these 20 years while you, are, while you are doing your research to find the secrets to success. And Napoleon Hill agrees. Then something happens later on. He gives him... It gives Napoleon Hill a personal growth pro proclamation, right? So he tells him, um, he tells Napoleon Hill, he tells him like this, that Napoleon Hill should write down that he's going to give him something uh, that he should use, that he's going to use, and he gives him uh, something similar to this, and he, say, he tells him, that you are the one who's saying this, right? You are the one who's going to be saying this, and you will say this: that uh, Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to equal your achievement in life, but I'll challenge you at the post and pass you at the grandstand. Can you imagine? Now look at this. The situation is this: Andrew Carnegie is the richest man on the planet. Okay, is worth. Millions and millions, if not billions, if you have to exchange money now, right? And he's telling Napoleon Hill, who is broke, he doesn't have any money, right? And he's telling him that he should repeat this statement to himself. That Andrew Carnegie, I'm not only going to challenge, I'm not only going to achieve your achievement in life, but I'm going to challenge you at the, grand, at the post and pass you at the grandstand, right? But Andrew can I mean Napoleon Hill, how can he believe this? Imagine somebody comes and tells you this and you're broke. How? But uh, he gives him a formula and tells him that he should uh, repeat this to himself and uh, look himself in the mirror and repeat this statement to himself and uh, uh, for 30 days straight. Right? So he said, okay, he's going to do it and he does it. And in the beginning, he's like, you know, if someone hears him saying this kind of thing, they're going to think he's crazy. But he starts doing it. He does it the first week, the second week. You know, by the, by the end of two or three weeks, he believes, he really believes that he can actually do it. But uh, he did actually manage to do it, right? He did manage to do it. So the reason why I'm telling this story is that when you start this business, right, you should find somebody. You know, do your research and find somebody who is already having what you have, right? And set that person as your mark, okay? That person is your mark. Because they have not stretched, they have not reached, they have not done the best. There is always somebody who can come and do much better than them. You know, there's somebody who can always come and do hundreds of times better than anybody else out there. So if Napoleon Hill did it, if Alexander the Great did it, if Napoleon Bonaparte did it, if any of these people did it, you too, you can also do it. So what I wanted to tell you is that when you come into business, you know, when you come into business, have someone as your mark. This is the person, obviously the best if you come to these kind of network marketing companies, right? My network marketing companies, you know, multi-level, whatever and residual income like the one I'm going to tell you to join which is the best right out there you what you should do is look at the top income earner 
and set him as your mark. Okay? Set that person as your mark and believe that you will reach to his status and even pass his status. So that's, uh, that's why I was telling the story that this, this is what you should do. Now me myself, I had some, uh, some particular mark and one of the marks which I've just hit was uh, uh, using this Facebook marketing strategy. You know, I, I set myself small, small challenges, you know, and I say, okay, I'm going to go for that, I'm going to go for that, I'm going to go for that. So I'm always having uh, targets, right? I want to go for that one, I, I, I raise my target. And uh, uh, one guy who's been very successful doing Facebook, I mean, YouTube marketing, he does YouTube marketing, he does Facebook marketing. And um, uh, I was checking out his YouTube channel, and he has over 200 something. He had over 200 something when I came across his channel. But if I want to be successful as these guys, as him and other people, I have to do similar things they are doing, right? I'm learning from them. So if this guy has over 213 ch channels, then if I also reach that level, then I'll start feeling as the guy, right? He has 213 videos on his YouTube channel. And one of the things I've just done today is this video is probably the 213 video and I've reached I've, I've reached that that mark now I'm gonna raise it higher now I'm going for uh, somebody else whom I admire and I learned from quite a lot is Ray Higdon and he's got over 500 videos 500 I think it's 550 or so 560 so that's my next mark after that I'm going to go for BJMA no I'm going to go for um, uh, probably BJ Min, he's, he's very serious. Like he would have passed the next mark. But my, my, my next target is uh, Eric Worre. Eric Worre has over almost 800, uh, you know, 800 videos or so. So that's going to be my next mark after Ray Higdon. So I like it to play like that. I mean, it's more interesting. And it's, it's not of some kind of uh, 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 competition. No, it's not a competition out there. But it's for you yourself, you know, because when you reach that level, then you can start feeling as if, you know, you've already created content out there, you have already created the content to the level of somebody else who's getting certain results, you know. So that gives you a, a, a different kind of feeling, you know, that increases your faith, that increases also your level of allowing, of awareness, and also your level of, of allowing in the results to start coming in. So that's why I was saying, when you get in, find somebody and set that person as your mark and try to do as he, that person is doing and, and try to do even more than that person is doing. So if they are reading once, you know, half an hour a day, go for two hours a day, if you can, or three hours. <laughs> if you are doing, if you are doing, listen to some audio every day, do you do it all the time? Actually, I'm going to tell you this is funny. I had a dream and uh, I'm not sure if someone is going to listen all the way to eight minutes and so now nine minutes to this this particular audio but I had a dream and one of my mentors is in the, right Napoleon Hill and Kevin Trudeau and somehow I don't know what it was um, both of these mentors of mine I felt they are energetic you know you can feel energetic presence of somebody or something I don't know if you've ever been in a room and you just feel like there's something there you know something there. you can't see it but there is something there so I felt their energetic presence now don't ask me how or what or whatever I don't know but then I asked the question how, how how fast will I be able to manifest my results and the response came from Katie Kevin Trudeau and the answer was something similar to the more I listen to audio training and when I when I when I analyze this in my you know normal state as I am right now, obviously audio training because through repetition you start doing brainwashing, and as you do brainwashing you start planting some things in your in your subconscious mind, right? As Bob Practice speaks about uh, your mind, and he gives you a picture of your mind, so you start programming things in your mind, and it becomes automatic. So it becomes automatic to be positive, it becomes automatic to start visualizing 
it comes automatic to start taking action uh, it becomes automatic to start doing uh, uh, the things that is necessary for you to do in your business so when things becomes automatic and aut being automatic comes from repetition repetition and all of a sudden creating habits and when things start becoming automatic then uh, results will start coming as well results will start coming as well because you're doing the correct thing uh, constantly and you're doing more and more of it and the results will start coming so that's been me a very long one keep a new rule I've just hit one of them you know uh, my mark I'm going to raise raise the bar up much higher up and I'm gonna go for it and I'm very excited about that so if you're not running your own business you can help me as your mark also reach 213 videos uh, and then keep going keep going keep going producing content not only can you make money uh, becoming a YouTube partner with your, the content you create, but you can also attract a lot of people out there in your network marketing businesses and sell them so many other things as you wish. So keep in arrow, subscribe to my channel, leave comments and share this video with your friends and everybody else out there. Just spread it to everybody else out there. So I'll see you on my team. Peace.